Doug Gansler, Maryland's Attorney General, recently visited Chesapeake College's campus as a part of his audit of the Wye River. After touring the river, Gansler and his team held a public meeting in the Cadby Theater as a chance for the public, the college, and the state to get together and discuss Maryland's green future. Chesapeake College biology professor Greg Farley opened the meeting with a presentation about the progress made on the Center for Leadership in Environmental Education, otherwise known as CLEAN. Currently, phase one of CLEAN has been completed with the installation of a 50 kilowatt wind turbine. Eventually, CLEAN will be a state-of-the-art facility that will provide the community career opportunities in solar, wind, and geothermal energy. Upon completion, Chesapeake College will be able to provide a workforce capable of installing, engineering, and maintaining these environmentally friendly power sources. Students will be able to study alternative energy, and local companies will be able to train their employees in a newly emerging green technology. The specific end goal of CLEAN will be a standalone facility that houses two classrooms, a visitor center, and an outdoor classroom. The building itself will be both an example to others and a teaching tool. The center will be able to show the community new technologies they can adopt and provide students the opportunity and experience of hands-on learning. The new addition to Chesapeake's campus will also prove these green technologies by example. The facility will be energy neutral, providing all the power that it needs. Students from the college's green team, led by Austin Gallagher, were also present and discuss the initiatives they're making on campus to increase energy efficiency and reduce the school's carbon footprint. Monty Gerritsen, Chesapeake's Facilities Director, also discussed how current facilities are adapting to reduce energy consumption. After the presentation, Attorney General Gansler and his staff took questions from the audience. Runoff from the surrounding farmlands, wastewater disposal policies of surrounding communities, the state's maintenance of roadside ditches, and the invasive plants and animals disturbing our aquatic environment were some of the topics covered. Though not a lawmaker himself, through hearing the concerns of the community, Gansler will be able to advise our legislators when they make policy decisions.